um, you know, we're all a, you know, we're all a community of human beings um, here locally and on the national level and, you know, wider and all our different international things and stuff. And so each individual, you know, has their own different background, which makes us better at different tasks and different environments. And um, not everybody is part of our community. So um, they do a lot of things that, um, as a group, we see as not being okay. Um, and they say, well, we're all the same on that, right? Because other people are doing things that we don't think are okay, such as um, trying to exist. You know, so I was, I was just thinking about, um, um, you know, what happens when Dix takes kids? You know, because I grew up listening to Gramps mutter at the news or, you know, he had heard about things where they'd gone in to a situation and they'd taken the kids out. And no matter how awful, god-awful the situation was, um, somehow Dix made, made a, found a way to do worse with the children. And, um, then, uh, he would, you know, start mumbling and stuff about, um, all the other things that could have been done with those kids and how they would have come out better because of it. And that people getting too nosy about what's happening. Um, and, and then they get really nosy about what happens in your early life, in your private life, in the part where you're not differentiated from the property of your parents. And then when you're an adult and a citizen, then they don't care. So, um, and it's really, really pretty messed up like this, and it's pretty systemic, and it's pretty, pretty hard to look at the results and say that this is not intentional. And so they, they try to get people to focus on different methods that different people use, try to get really pushy about that. So not everybody who could benefit from these methods can be subjected to them. And, um, you know, we've got different types, you know. Like in my picture, you know, you've got someone um, who got um, caught up with the Soviets, sideways of culture, um, rescued by weird, or purchased basically by weirdos from the back of beyond, and um, was sent back uh, with a job, and if it wasn't for that, our family wouldn't have a son in it, you know, so... Um, and then you've got, you know, people who left a falling civilization that was getting weird, and you've got, um, you know, a large group of people who were put through a standardized process. You've got other people that have been subjected to dicks. You've got other people that, um, just like kind of thrived in neglect, or sort of. And so you've got, um, so you've got all these people, and, um, you know, we do the best we can with who we can, and uh, not everybody that gets thrown into every pile should be in that pile, but we can't always move them to another pile. And, um, so anyway, but I always say, um, if what you're doing is going to result in an adult that's going to be, um, functional or it's going to be, you know, the product that you want, that, um, then you're not doing wrong. And you can't, you can't walk up to somebody and hand them a Jehovah's Witness flyer, you know, and it not be molestation if that causes them to become unstable. So, um, in a, un, inappropriate and, you know, all that kind of stuff. So, um, you know, in our family, we, um, any outsider who gets involved with our children for any reason whatsoever is subject to the deepest scrutiny and penalties.